Hello, uh, I'm John Farron from the Guild of Fine Food and we are the proud organisers of Great Taste, the world's most trusted food awards. Great Taste Results Day is a firm favourite uh, in the calendar of both the trade and food lovers. And this year we announced our results at midday on 21st of September with our major trophy winners and our golden forks announced late in October. Um, here at the Guild of Fine Food we know that Great Taste is important to everyone who appreciates the best food and drink. But I'd like to find out more from a, a producer who has, has scooped plenty of stars uh, and a retailer who understands what that gold and um, black Great Taste logo can do. So I caught up with uh, Adrian Boswell from Selfridges uh, and Drew Baker from Tempus Charcuterie. Adrian, um, Selfridges run an excellent uh, Great Taste retail promotion every autumn. Um, Tell me, why are you so invested in the awards as a business? Uh, and perhaps tell me why and what it means to retailers. I, I, think, I think it's a great way for um, retail business to easily identify good quality products um, from small artisanal producers. So you see those stars, whether it's one, two or three, you know actually it's been through a vigorous judging process. It's been through uh, a variety of experienced palettes, so you know that actually you can rest assured that when you're spending your money on this product, it actually delivers. Drew, uh, you've been entering your charcuterie products for several years now. Um, there must be some real highs and lows uh, on results day. Tell me a little bit about uh, what those stars mean to you and your team and, and a little bit about the feedback. Come, come awards day, come the announcement day for when the stars come out, I A get no sleep the night before. Um, and actually it's a huge lift to us. It, it's affirmation um, that what we're doing is right. It's, it's, it's showing that all the hard work and the effort is right, and actually it's a real boost, not only to myself, but the entirety of the team, you know. We'll do something together to celebrate, hopefully, the stars, but it, it, it serves as cut through as well. You know, when you've got such a, a cluttered, busy marketplace, those, that, that golden black sticker really serves as cut through, and it, it's, it's a sort of affirmation that you as a consumer are buying something that um, warrants your money and you can spend your money on in good faith and that's as a producer it's a pat on the back it's affirmation that that what you're doing is right so it's one of those rare situations where it benefits the producer the retailer and the customer in equal measure um, and it serves hopefully um, I'll let you know more on the day but I mean, the feedback is invaluable to us given that the judges are immensely knowledgeable about food they know what they're talking about when we do take um, you know, sometimes it's very difficult to take negative feedback. It, it's, it's something that you put your, your blood, sweat and tears into. But actually, we've got an opportunity to improve it, especially when you're given guidance and, and advice from, from somebody who knows what they're doing. So while being maybe a kick in the teeth and a little bit difficult to take, um, ultimately it helps us um, improve and make those incremental gains towards making the product stronger and better uh, and hopefully increasing the numbers of ones and twos to, to hopefully threes. But um, yeah, not always easy, but always valuable. It's clear in 2020 we need some good news and we need some good news in, in food. What part do you think Great Taste can play in, in making sure that the, uh, uh, the producer, the retailers and, and food lovers can uh, have a great end to the year and into 2021? I think the beauty that I've found in this year is a sense of community and togetherness, whether that's individually with your own family. Um, but even with a lot of the brands and producers and suppliers that we've been fortunate enough to start working with since you know, we've come out of lockdown, the sense of community and the desire to want to help each other out has been stronger than it's ever been. And I think as long as that can continue, then I think we'll be in a very good place. And I think the Great Taste Awards has a very important part to play within. The fact that we all meet in the middle between retailer, producer, Great Taste, and actually the, the biggest winner out of that is the consumer. 100%. And finally, um, how are we going to win through and, and make food great news in, in 2021? We have to start thinking a little bit more creative about what the customer wants and how we deliver that to the customer. And I think, you know, again, Great Taste Awards plays a great part in that, in understanding and giving that validation affirmation of, of the quality of the product. But then as retailers and producers, we now need to think about how are consumer habits changing and how can we manage that change? I think next year is going to be tough. I think it's it's a different landscape and I think even more so than ever we've got to show that we are we represent good value and I think you know it'll be difficult but I think the ones who put the work in um, should do all right but um, I'm pretty excited about uh, midnight on on the 31st and, and I can just say see you to 2020. Have a successful last quarter both of you.
Pleasure. Thanks a lot, John. Always a pleasure.